Hey guys, um, Nifty here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a GB logo like this. And well, first I need to tell you this: please don't copy the logo exactly as you see it. Please be creative with it. All right. So first, we're going to create a new file by hitting Command or Control N with 300 pixels, height 200 pixels, background contents white, resolution. 100 pixels per inch, okay. Just make this bigger so you guys can see. Okay. Now that you did that, we're going to hit D on our keyboard to make sure we have our default foreground and background colors. Hit shift, backspace, or shift delete. Hit okay. Here you have it just filled it. Going to create a new layer. We're going to grab our text tool, make sure the color is white, so you can see it, just make it big here, and let's just type YouTube, okay, so just going to censor that, okay, uh, oh, excuse me, and we're going to double click on the text layer, add outer glow, we're going to make it white, we're going to make the spread 5, the size 18, and the range 80. Oh no, that's the 80. Uh, range 80. Alright. Now that we did that, we're going to double click on the text layer again. Add bevel and in balls and contour. And I'm just going to leave it like that because it looks fine to me. Then we're going to hit gradient overlay, click the gradient, you can use one of these default ones, it's up to you, don't really care, you can use whatever you want, but I'm going to change it, I'm going to use the colors dark red to light red, I'm going to hit ok. Okay, now we did that, we have this uh, gradient effect here. We're going to hit Command and Control J to make a copy of this. Hit Command and Control T to transform it. And we're just going to twirl it. Grab up here in the corner and just twirl it clockwise and move it back so it's in line. Hit Enter. And then we're going to grab our original layer, bring it to the top, and grab our copy layer and change the opacity to. 75 okay now we're going to make a copy of our original layer again and this time I'm going to hit command T or control T and transform it and move it the opposite direction and then position it hit ok do the same thing bring our top layer bring our original layer to the top make a YouTube copy too or your second copy go change the opacity of 50% so now it looks kind of faded. Okay, now that you did that, we're going to create a new layer. Make sure its brush color is white. And we're going to grab our pen tool and just start drawing markers. And you just draw markers and transform them out. Okay. And then we're going to right click and hit stroke path. Make it brush, simulate pressure. Make sure before you do this, I forgot to do it. Make sure that the brush size is pretty low. I use four pixels for GB. And just going to hit OK. And enter. And here we have this stroke. We're going to take this and bring this under our original layer. And double click it to open up the styles. Add an outer glow. I'm just going to use red because that's the color that we were using. Hit OK. OK. And here we go. It's done. We have a simple, very, very simple YouTube, I mean, a uh, Game Battles logo. Of course, you can mess around with this, do whatever you want. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. And this was a requested tutorial by Suicide Sniper 3. So, yeah.